Hello, Buzzicles, my name is Hatzel C and welcome back to Boatless Factorio, where in the last episode we have determined um, we don't have enough low-density structures. Um, we did pimp the factory with uh, beacons and productivity, but it's still not enough. So we concluded we need a second one. So where do we place it? We have a spot here. However, we have an oil line going through there. We could also place it down here. So, um, and we will have to switch around the, the lanes because uh, it would be better if copper which is the uh the material that's needed uh, the most of be here on the outer lane where we don't have long-handed inserters as as part of uh, of this lane here only when it goes into the assembly machine. So let's see what we can do here. Um, if we would copy this down here, that goes If we do it like this, we can squeeze in the uh, the pipes, I think. That should work. So actually what we need then is, is only this, this piece here. And then where is my car? Up there. And then let's move over there. We need to sort this out. Okay, this will not work. So let's make it this way. And have it there. And that's good. And then we connect it this way. And then we can have it this way around um, we will remove those for now um, we will need one there and have it bridging over this way. And I would assume aside from all the uh, modules that I'm missing, I am missing a lot of the other materials as well, uh, like uh, chests, inserters, and, uh, and so on. But Let's walk through here so everything that I can build is being built and uh, then we shall see what we are missing in the end and uh, 
can grab those materials as well. Okay, by the looks of it, that's everything I had on me. So you need quite a few chests, a few inserters, a few more rails, um, stations and modules. I managed to get everything together. Now we can actually sort the things out here by moving the copper lane here to the uh, to the outer bit. And that would mean we switch uh, copper and plastic around here. Like so. And need to do, do that here as well. And then we do have these inserters controlled and they also have to be switched. So let's do that. Copy the new setting over to all of them. These ones stay the same. We will stick with uh, with steel on the inner line. Yeah, I was a bit confused there, but yes, we want to have copper here on the outer line going through. And we will have to uh, observe how this works out because if the machinery is still hampered by not enough copper, we could replace the fast inserters with stack inserters, uh, thereby getting more throughput but i think this alone should do the trick so all that remains to be done here is hooking up the system and then hopefully we will see a train coming in soon and I would imagine that with another factory built up here, we would need a more trains delivering. Um, there the first one comes in. We have six trains for a total of four unloading stations. Um, and we shall see how that, how that works out in the long run you can see materials is supplied along here we are getting copper and steel here and the plastic is coming in now as well so that should actually uh, make a difference, hopefully. Uh, I mean, we, we just started here. So uh, let's run this a while. And beforehand we were around 75.80. So if we can keep up the supply we should see at least a doubling of that number to uh, 140 to 100, uh, 150 to 260 um, ideally even higher uh, because we did this uh, improvement with uh, with switching with switching the lanes 
so if we look here yeah maybe maybe we we should replace those list to here do that down here as well because that way we can uh, push through more of the of the copper if we have any so that uh, these machines back here also get a steady steady supply of copper um and let's see where our trains are at uh delivery copper pickup copper pickup copper pickup steel pickup steel pickup i think we need at least two more trains so let's find uh fueling station and build us some trains and then do the same thing here Um, and let's send these trains off and that should help with the supply we need to keep an eye on do we then actually run into uh, issues because uh, we don't have enough copper or plastic or steel but we should all see that coming together um, if we see trains are spending most of their time in the waiting bay going into one of the of the pickup stations but as far as as I can see at least at the moment it works out nicely so let's wait a bit, observe this, and then make a judgment call. We got another train delivery here. Um, so let me fix this uh, other half um, of our system that we have. This far and one thing that i noticed is we are not necessarily uh, hampered by uh, a lack of copper but if we are looking at our copper fields um, we can see some of the furnaces don't get any ore which means these chests are not really uh, uh, full uh, so the loading takes longer than it should so let's head over there make a run of the of the copper fields um, and see how we can uh, improve the output there um, to probably the effect that our copper fields will drain a bit more quickly and we might look for more copper fields to uh, bring into into our uh, system but well that's part of the game Um, 
up here we have a copper field this one is waiting for something for the unloading of uh, batteries i think and here we could do a bit of a, of a radar and then here we just need to copy that and that Oh, here we have an insert pointing in the wrong direction. It does not really, really help. And if we have stack insert to stare, that should also help a bit. I think here we are good. There, we are completely dry. Let's remove that bit. And then have that here. And that should bring a bit more out of uh, this factory. And we have a few more to make the round off. Um, so I will do that and then hopefully uh, we can see uh, actually how this affects uh, the production of the low density structures. I checked all the copper ore fields and it turns out only this one here and that one uh, was a bit uh, lacking. The two up here, they are newer, uh, they are in pretty good shape. But as we can see, we have quite a bit of congestion uh, train wise here in this area. And that's probably due because uh, most of the copper fields are up here and uh, heavy copper production is in that area. So I was thinking if we get to the point where we have to hook up another copper field, they are none left up here, but we have one down here, here and here. So what we could do is basically use the copper that we still have up here for production of our uh, electronics. But if we need copper for anything else, we grab it from the auto fields. So we would split the schedules on the, on the trains according to uh, what they actually need uh, if we have a look at the train themselves uh, they are moving they are unloading they are loading mostly they are moving uh, which is a good thing uh, because uh, that's the most efficient way to deal with things if we look at production um, where is it we are at around 100 and if we look at it over the last hour we can see that was before now we have higher peaks we have double peaks uh, so i guess uh, we did good we did not manage to get it up to uh, 150 where it should be but that's probably more an issue of uh, of supply and with this congestion up here i don't think it's it's a particularly good idea to add more trains on here 
uh, because that would uh, only worsen the the problem we can add more trains uh, if they are unrelated to uh, to the copper copper setup um, but we will have to uh, keep that in in mind uh, when moving forward but that's it for today hope you enjoyed it and uh, also tune in next time when we will further improve our factory um, to get to the point where we are able to produce two suns pack per second all right then See you. Goodbye.